Recently, there's been a catastrophe that has struck the Gulf Coast in the United States. BP, a huge man-eating, oil-spewing beast of a company, decided that it'd be best to accidentally let one of their rigs explode, therefore resulting in the death of thousands of little fish. Oh no! But the problem is bigger. The oil gushing from the dark depths of the ocean is of different densities, which means the layers separate, polluting not only the top layer of the water, but the middle and bottom layers as well. It's complicated. Oil spills are like ogres, and ogres are like onions. Onions have layers, you get it? Now, what are the solutions? Can they put an enormous cap on it and funnel the liquid gold to the surface? No. What about summoning a huge sponge to suck it all up? That sounds about as possible as BP actually paying for all the damage and problems that resulted from this accident. Hmm, let's think about it. Now that we know there is virtually no way for us to clean up the spill, we must come together and think harder. But beware, because while we take our sweet time, Nerdle, the loggerhead turtle, is slowly dying. Nerdle has a wife, two children, seven siblings, 43 cousins, and 16 nieces and nephews that are all very, very hungry. But if all those poor little jellyfish die, what the heck are they going to eat? Well, I'm sure that all those delicious looking tar balls floating in the water are quite appetizing. So much so that they gobble them up only to find out that the crude oil alters the cells in their digestive system. The tar gets stuck in their jaws, mouth, esophagus, stomach, small intestines, and large intestines. Nerdle and his family are slowly dying. They are starving because they cannot eat due to the sticky tar stuck in their throats. The oil that the turtle ingests does not pass through the digestive system rapidly, but moves through slowly like molasses and increases the amount of time the turtle is exposed to the oil. The oil has toxins that are poisonous to Nerdle that are absorbed in the digestive tract, and because of them he will starve and die and his family will die and they will want the jellyfish and the jellyfish will eat the jellyfish and they will die! <gasps> well, wait. Before we move on, let's take a minute to discuss what exactly the digestive system is. Say it with me. Digestive. Your digestive system contains the mouth, stomach, and tons of other pointless doodads, but the loggerhead turtle's digestive system contains the mouth, esophagus, stomach, liver, small intestines, large intestines, bladder, rectum, and anus, all working together to create the perfect, food-digesting, nutrient-absorbing being. Since all of these organs are connected, when one is affected, it creates a snowball effect that therefore affects them all. Dot, dot, dot. Now, back to the future. Did you know that metabolism actually occurs in the cell? Let's define it. Metabolism, the chemical processes occurring within a cell or organism that are necessary for the maintenance of life. In metabolism, some substances are broken down to yield energy for vital processes while other substances are synthesized. Hmm, how does this relate? Well, when the oil comes in contact with the intestines, the toxins alter the cell. This can create mutations leading to cancer, as well as blocking other important nutrients from being absorbed. So, not only is Nerdle starving because his esophagus is blocked, but the tiny building blocks that make him up are being contaminated. All these factors put together make death imminent for any turtle that comes into contact with oil. Nerdle is not a happy turtle. The solution that is being sought should not only solve the problems from the oil spill now, but should prevent it in the future. It takes one person to make an impact on the world. We need to use other clean sources of energy because if this continues, we, like the loggerhead turtles, will be killed by oil. Not directly, but killed nonetheless.